Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Wild Breakaway with Mike Greenlay. I'm Audra Martin. The Minnesota Wild went into Detroit to take on a struggling Red Wings team, but they did not take this team too lightly. Instead, they came out with an all-out team effort. Seven goals from six different scorers, 13 different skaters finding the score sheet for the most lopsided road win of the season, a 7-1 to final. Well, just because you're playing a team that is struggling doesn't mean that you're going to be handed the two points. And the Wild did what they needed to do. They did the right thing. They went in there. They treated them uh, like a team that they respected because they came out, they played hard, they scored goals, and they won a hockey game. So, and they scored in, in many different ways with many different lines. So that tells you that the Wild weren't looking past them and they weren't uh, disrespecting them by just kind of going in there and thinking they might just uh, find a way to win two to nothing or three to one or something so good good on the wild for doing that now they have a bigger test even with an injury uh, depleted lineup with Columbus uh, Columbus is still going to fight the wild had a pretty good lead the other night against them Columbus almost made it very very sobering. <laughs> yes, so yes, the did. good thing is, is that the Wild know that. So well, yeah, hopefully absolutely. They pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a look at tonight's final stats. Both teams with 26 shots apiece, and that was about all they had in common here tonight. Especially when you look at that final score. Good to see the power play finally come through here tonight, snapping a six-game drought. And the perfect streak on the PK continues. It's now eight straight games without allowing a power play goal. Alex Stalock picks up his 17th win of the season, and Kevin Fiala, Matt Dumba, both with three. points point performances on the night when it comes to Kevin Fiala. His head coach right now is excited to see what may still be in store for a young skater like him. I don't know where his ceiling is, but it, it sure looks high right now. Um, but again, what Kevin's doing is not only scoring goals, but um, he's not a, um, you know, he doesn't hurt us on, on other areas of the game. So um, you know, he's committed the right to doing the right things and he's getting rewarded for it. So the Wild now close out the set of back-to-back -back games as they take on the Columbus Blue Jackets for the second time this week. The very team they just took down, as you said, Mike, a few nights ago and a bit of a nail-biter, despite the fact that this is a Columbus team that has just injuries up and down the lineup, the roster, the organization, you name it. They're a very depleted team right now, but they are a very hungry team, scratching and clawing their way to into a postseason position. And uh, the Minnesota Wild know firsthand now you cannot take this team lightly despite how many injuries they're dealing with. No, and, and, and everyone said it from the coaching staff to the players. Uh, we have to worry about how we're playing. Uh, we can't worry about who we're playing, uh, what their injury status is, where they are in the standings, any of that. Because, you know, you at this time of year, you can't just judge a team based on some of those factors. You have to judge a team based on the fact that they're going to play you hard for of many different reasons. And so the Wild have to go in there tomorrow night as if they're playing the best team in the league, that's the healthiest team in the league, and all of that. And if you and if you treat it like that, you're going to give your best. And hopefully the Wild, because they rolled four lines uh, so evenly in this hockey game today, that with the travel and the back-to-back -back situation, that won't hurt them very much. Yeah, 19 games left to go. It's almost hard to believe that we are really coming down to the final stretch. And luckily for the Wild, they are playing great hockey mm -hmm. here as we head into the final weeks of the regular season. Thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway. For Mike Greenlay, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.